Hello and welcome to today's Open Dental webinar. We will be covering the OD Mobile app. The topics for today will be initial setup and logging in, how to navigate the app, how to use it to create, edit, and delete appointments, how to view patient information, the option for two-way texting with patients, and some of the more options that we have included. So to get started with OD Mobile, we'll want to make sure that we are signed up for the service. In the eServices setup window, we can launch the sign up portal. In this window, you are able to check the mobile service here and scroll down and hit save and I agree. At that point, you will want to create mobile credentials. You can do that from this window in the mobile settings here, or you can do it in the eServices setup using this mobile settings button here. From here, you can create a username and password for the office. You'll want to make sure it's something that anybody who needs access to the app will be able to have. This password will require an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number, and a special character. In addition to creating a username and password, you'll also attach an email address for resetting the password and for initially registering that mobile credentials. You can add a phone number as one of the options for verifying or resetting the password, but only email is required. After we've signed up for the service and we have our mobile credentials created, we'll want to make sure that we have our user set up. If we come down to setup and security here, we can view all of our users that may need to be logged into the mobile app. First thing you want to do is come up to the global security settings here and make sure that passwords must be strong is checked. This will require any user who is logging in and creating a password will need a an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a number. It also must be an eight character password or longer. In addition to a strong password for each of the users logging in, we'll want to make sure their user group has the permission to log in. In the user groups tab, if we scroll all the way to the bottom here, you will see a mobile web slash OD mobile permission. This is what we will need for each user. Once you are ready to log in, you can go ahead and launch the app and you will see at the very top, a window that says sign up portal login. This is where you will use the mobile credentials that you just created for the office and log into that initial database screen. Once you've gotten past the sign up portal login, you will see open dental login. This is where you'll use each user's username and personal password to log into the app. This will need to make sure that it matches exactly whatever username is entered within Open Dental, including any spaces or punctuation. Once you have logged into the app, you will be taken to the appointment screen. First thing you'll want to look at is the appointment view you'd like to use. Up in the top right corner of the screen, there is a calendar button that we can tap on to choose a particular appointment view. You may also set up these views to have custom mobile views attached so that when you use the same view on the desktop as you do on a mobile device, it may look just a little bit different. You can also use the left and right arrows next to each operatory name to flip back and forth between the operatories you're looking at. There is also a clipboard button next to that, which you can tap on to see all appointments and blockouts that are scheduled in a particular operatory. You can even use this to scroll back and forth between particular days. You can also navigate different days by using the left and right arrows on the very top of their screen or the little calendar button on the lower right where we can determine a specific date or go back to today. We also have a refresh button up in the top right corner here, and just in case you make any changes on the desktop version that you want to see reflected on the mobile app. When it comes to creating appointments, we can go ahead and tap in an empty time slot. It will have us confirm the exact time that we'd like to start the appointment. 
and then we can select a patient that we're scheduling. We don't have the ability to add particular procedures to this appointment from here, but we can add an appointment type. And if that appointment type has procedures attached, those will get attached to the appointment automatically. And of course, if we need to make any notes or change any of the information, mark the appointment as ASAP, all of that can be controlled from here. When we hit save, we will see that show up on the schedule. And you can also hit the show on calendar button to view it on the mobile app. If we need to go back and make some changes to any of the appointments, we can go ahead and tap on it and use the little pencil icon to add anything that we need to add to that appointment. If we need to move an appointment, we can tap and hold on it and move it anywhere on the schedule that we may not want or move it to the pin board in the lower left corner. From that point, we can even flip it back and forth between days, reopen that pin board, and drag and drop the appointment. And it'll have us confirm the appointment time we're looking for. If we need to delete an appointment, we also can tap and hold on it and just move it to the lower right corner to that trash can. And it'll confirm that we want to take that action. That is the appointments tab in a nutshell. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the patients tab. From here, we can search any of the patients in our database and view some real basic patient information. We can take a look at their contact information and address, any scheduled appointments they have, and any allergies or prescriptions that we have on file for them. You can also use the mail button to send an email to the patient Keep in mind, this will launch your default email app and it will not email from Open Dental. Same with the phone button here. If you tap that, it will open the default phone app and call the patient using whatever phone number you have associated to the phone that you're on. The message button, however, will allow you to use the integrated texting feature within the app itself to message that patient's wireless phone. We also have the option to prescribe a prescription using DoseSpot, if that is a service you are also using, directly within the mobile app using the Rx button. We also see a little pencil button at the bottom right corner of the Patients tab when we have one open. This will allow us to edit the contact information, the phone number or email on file for the patient. And the Messages tab down here at the very bottom, if we use this, we can search any of our existing conversations with patients or even create a new one to send a message out using the integrated texting feature. This will use the phone number that is associated with your office in Open Dental, whether that be your landline number or a generated number that we have set up for your office. You can use this to search for any existing patient conversations you may have or tap on an existing one to continue and message that patient. We also have some more options in the bottom right corner using the little hamburger button there. In this more options section, we can access some reports within Open Dental. You can simply choose the report that you'd like to see Use the gear button in the top right corner to change any of the filters that you may want to look at. And then simply hit the play button to generate that report. You also have the ability to view patient images and documents that are stored in the imaging module for your patient. Again, we can search whatever patient we are looking for and view any of those particular documents that we have on file for the patient. You can also view your pharmacies in the app as well. Or again, you can launch DoseSpot directly from the app here. In the settings window, you can set up a face ID or pin code or fingerprint for particular phones. That way, when you're logging back in, you may not have to type your password each time. Maybe you can use your face ID or a pin code to get back into the app a little bit more quickly. 
And then you can also change the lock frequency. So if we want to wait a few minutes before the, the app locks, that way when we reopen the app, we don't have to log back in right away. And then we can control whether we get a message or a vibration on new messages. Of course, you can also switch users from here or view some information about the app itself. That is the gist of how to use the OD mobile app. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.